If you have just finished watching the previous video, you should have a building with two rooms and a gable roof. If not, you can either watch the previous videos by clicking below, or simply download the file from the link in this video's description. In this video, we will go over the roof modify tools by adding a chimney and a skylight to this building. Some of the tools shown in this video are only available in the Professional and Platinum editions of TurboCAD, so if you are using TurboCAD Deluxe, I'm afraid you are limited to basic roofs. Now let's get started. If you are still in a shaded render mode, click the teacup icon in the property toolbar to toggle wireframe. Next, turn off the roof and dimension layers in the design director, then switch to a top view by hitting Alt up arrow on your keyboard. Now we are going to model a simple chimney. For this demonstration, we will not be adding a fireplace. First select the double line rectangle tool and hit Ctrl F to bring up properties. Now go to Double Line Properties and change separation to 3 inches. Before drawing anything, let's change the work plane. Choose Work Plane by Facet from the pop-up toolbar, then click inside the larger room. Now draw a 2 foot by 3 foot rectangle using the Double Rectangle tool. Now switch to the Extrude tool and select the Double Rectangle. Tab into the Height field, type in 16 feet, and hit Enter. Now switch to an isometric view by hitting Alt Page Up. Now select our chimney and change its color to fire brick. Next, we are going to cut a hole in the roof by adding a roof modifier. We will use the outer rectangle of the entity used to create the chimney as the profile to modify the roof. First, let's turn on the roof layer. Next, click on the base of the extruded chimney and select double line from the local menu that pops up. Now explode the double rectangle twice and hit escape to deselect. Now choose Add Roof Modifier from the Architecture Toolbar. Select the roof, then choose the outer polyline at the base of the chimney. Notice a hole has been cut in the roof? Go ahead and switch back to a render mode and examine your model. Now switch to a top view and toggle back to wireframe. Now we are going to draw a skylight. Since the skylight will be anchored to the roof, we will want to model it while using the same coordinate system as the roof. Select Work Plane by Entity from the pop-up menu, then click on the roof. Now select the Double Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle 17 inches by 33 inches. Next, choose the Extrude tool and select the Double Rectangle. Tab into the Height field, type in 6 inches, then hit Enter. Next, select the Double Rectangle and explode it twice. Choose the Extrude tool again and extrude the center profile to a half inch. Now select the center extrude and change its material to mostly clear glass. Next, with the 3D Select tool, draw a fence around these objects and rotate by 90 degrees in the X direction. Then choose Create Block from the Format menu and name the block Skylight. We are almost ready to anchor the skylight to the roof. First, we need to edit the properties of the Opening tool. Right-click the Opening tool in the Architectural Toolbar. Select Openings Properties, then choose Skylight as the 3D representation and hit OK. Now select the opening tool and hover over the roof. It looks like we are trying to snap to the walls. Right click to bring up the local menu and select anchor to roof. You should now be able to place the skylight where you would like. I will go ahead and place two side by side. Now switch into a rendered mode and position the camera so that we can admire our handiwork. While we still have roof slabs to go over, this will be it for now.